What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about whatever this little garage organizer is. You can order these on really anywhere. We got them on Amazon. We got a third one that's getting ready to go up here. But we got the first two up and it took way longer than I care to admit. But the way these things work here, you can buy as many of these panels as you want to. We got a three pack. It came with, um, I believe, six. Did we get six of these? Is that right? Six of these guys here. And you can slide them and adjust them however you need to. Right now we got life jackets on there, but we're also planning on using it to store some chairs and stuff like that. If you just lift up on this part here, it comes off and you can see how this clips on the back. Uh, pro tip here, if you look underneath, you can see that. And if we come up here on the top, you can see that's a little bit different. And so this piece needs to hook into this. I just had to take this second one down and flip it over because I accidentally installed it upside down. There's nothing in the instructions that says which one's top and which one's bottom. But you can adjust these so they can go as close together or not as you want. It will kind of slide along too as it goes there. Uh, there are, what is that, two, four, five, ten holes total. They say that you really only need to have um, four screws in there for it to work. So you can do it however you want. We took this little stud finder initially to find where the studs were and we tried to drill the screws directly into the studs. That didn't work out so well. Our battery on this Black & Decker drill is a piece of shit. Um, so then what we did was we took the same stud finder and tried to just measure between the studs. And if you're going to do that, obviously you're going to need a, a drill bit to drill, oh, there we go, into the wall. And then once you do that, you need one of these guys to go in there. I don't know what any of these technical terms are. What is this called? Drywall anchor. There you go. You got a drywall anchor that you're going to put in there next. And then once you wedge this bad Larry in there, you're finally going to take one of these screws and you're going to uh, drill or screw it right in there until you get four of them in there. And it seems four is pretty much good enough. I mean, I'm pulling on this pretty good right now. It's really not going anywhere. It's not necessary to have screws, you know, everywhere. Um, so anyway, we got a three pack and we'll see once we get everything up here what it looks like, but we may have to buy a couple more and kind of extend it down uh, but it looks like i'm starting a little life jacket store here i just got these from brp at uh i think they were all 50 bucks off normally 90 bucks a piece they were the unisex freedom jackets and uh got those for 40 bucks a piece on brp with free shipping and two percent cash back on rakuten if you don't know what rakuten is we'll put a link in the uh in the video you can get some cash back on your online purchases pretty pretty good stuff but anyway just wanted to show that to you guys we're going to be ordering i think like i said uh, another panel or two see how it goes link in the description and don't do what we did when you installed them make sure that the top is the top and the bottom is the bottom and uh make sure you get enough juice for your drill so that's all i got see you in the next video